Hi, my name is Morgan Caping, and I am doing my food and culture project today. I have chosen to talk about sweet corn. Sweet corn has a cultural meaning to me because I've been growing up eating it since I can remember. My dad is a farmer, and each year he plants a sweet corn patch. Each summer, I get home from work or different activities and know that for dinner, we will be having sweet corn along with whatever main dish my mom has prepared. We eat corn so much in the summer that by the end of the summer, I grow so sick and tired of it that I have to wait for the next summer to eat it again. When I was a little kid, my dad would get home from work and I would run outside knowing that he had a bag of sweet corn ready to be husked and eaten for dinner that night. I would run outside and we would go down to the pasture and I would help him husk the corn and we would give all the husks actually to my horses um, because they enjoy eating it. It's like a sweet treat for them. And then we would go back up to the house and my mom would cook it for dinner that night. Sweet corn is created by a spontaneous mutation in field corn and was originally grown by many Native American tribes. The Iroquois tribe was the first to give sweet corn to European settlers in 1779 and has grown in popularity in Southern and Central American households since. Sweet corn is now one of the most popular vegetables in the United States. This sweet vegetable is a symbol of community for my culture. It is consumed at large gatherings of friends and families and eaten on summer holidays. There are 90 calories in one ear of sweet corn. There's three grams of protein, 19 grams of carbohydrates, and the two micronutrients are vitamin C and potassium. Um, there are 3.6 milligrams of vitamin C and 270 milligrams of potassium in one ear of corn. <clears throat> I would describe corn as a healthy option personally. Um, sweet corn has a lot of fiber in it, and so then that helps you feel full for longer. And also choosing corn over processed white flour products, um, it helps your gut health and it decreases risk for cancer, heart disease, and type 2 diabetes. This food is planted with farming equipment. This is a planter shown on the screen. Uh, and then it grows until it's ready to be picked. The sweet corn is then hand picked and husked and there are actually like many ways to prepare sweet corn, but two popular ways are by boiling the corn and grilling the corn. After the sweet corn is prepared, it can be eaten, it can be eaten straight off the cob or cut off the cob. And then it is also included in a variety of dishes. I have a hot dish that has sweet corn in it and then a Southwest corn salad. Uh, today I will be interviewing Abby Klecker and my first question is why is sweet corn culturally important to you? Uh, sweet corn is culturally important to me because I also grew up eating it a lot especially during the summer uh, when we would have it at all our family gatherings and our summer festivities that we would have and have a good time cooking it all together as a family. How often do you eat sweet corn? Um, I eat sweet corn, I'd say, about about once or twice a week during the summer. Okay. What is your favorite way to eat sweet corn? Um, I like to eat sweet corn boiled and then with butter on it, and you just eat it straight off the cob. What setting do you eat sweet corn in? Um, definitely like a family setting um, or outdoors. Um, any summer setting, really, or like get-togethers and picnics. What is your favorite memory involving sweet corn? Uh, my favorite memory involving sweet corn is definitely uh, definitely the times that I would sit with my brother on the front porch at our house during summer and husk the corn together and then bring it inside and my dad would cook it up but just spending the time with my brother getting the corn ready for the family. All right, thank you.